Why hello you watch me, have a look at the Star Trek official Starship collection by Eagle Moss. Today we're looking at number 94 which is the Sullivan Sail Ship. As seen in Enterprise, what's it from? Yeah, it's actually from the first season almost, wasn't it? Uh, okay, let's have a look. Basically just like a little, it's not even a scout ship. I can't even call it a shuttle, could you? Was it hard a person? Two people? But it was really nippy. Had a good warp five. Um, it goes into details, the design in the ship, obviously, the schematics, the Sullivan race, how they all joined together to make one big ship. What really annoyed me about Enterprise is the fact you saw and heard about all these species and races you've never heard before in any other Star Trek, like uh, Next Generation, the original series and stuff. That really bugged me. I liked it when they made callbacks to species we had heard of, like uh, you had the Borg pop up at one point, uh, the Frengi popped up, a few other species like that. And I like where they induced the Andorians quite a lot as well, that was nice. But the species which you've never heard of before and you never will again, that really bugged me. That bugged the hell out of me. Um, designing the ships, obviously. When we first saw them, Broken Bow, which was the first episode, and the Communicator. So what we've got coming up next, we have New Orleans, a kit bash. Um, I've mentioned kit bash a couple of times before, and it was, someone messaged me saying, what is a kit bash? Basically, a kit bash is when the designers don't have the resources to build a new ship from scratch, so they use ops and sods from other ships they have lying around to make a new ship. So, for example, let's use the Nebula class. You know the Nebula class has got the source of, of the Galaxy class and then the cells of a Galaxy class, but without the neck. And a big dish on top. So basically, I've taken bits from other ships, put them together to make a new ship. That is what a kit bash is, basically. So, your Sulebon ship. Hmm, there's not much to say about it. It feels really... I'm not going to say it's really light, but it's not heavy. It's kind of, I'll say, it's average. It feels really plasticky, but it feels solid. It feels well built. It's a nice dark, it's like a tangerine colour, which is a bit odd. It's not orangey orange, it's like, um, I'll say an orangey bronzy colour, I'd say. You've got some little withering marks in place, you can just make them out. Actually, it makes them out better in the camera, it does in my eyes. You've got this piece in the middle, it's a slightly different shade. It feels metal, actually. I'm guessing they glued the top and the bottom to it. Um, you can't really tell what the front is because it's... It's like the ball cube, it's all the same. <laughs> there's no pretty patterns. Well, there's kind of some pretty patterns there. But they're duplicated all around. There's just not much to say about it. I would say I'm disappointed because this is how it is on screen. But it's one of those ones you see on the website. Should I buy it? Should I? Nah, pass. Skip it. And that's because you're deliberately collecting the whole lot, then we'll see, buy it. But there's not much else to say about it. Just have a quick scan over it. So you've got some markings on it, some pretty patterns, some withering marks, but literally every side is the same, all the way along. It's one of those things you say, what's the front, and what's the back, and where's the propulsion? Take a bit around one more time. But there you go, that is your cell ship, number 94, and I will catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.